Hi everyone, welcome to this first lesson. So we're going to have a look at the basics of Maya. So let's start off by importing something cool to look at. So I'm just going to press this button here, which is the little person button there, which is the human eye K system. And we're just going to import an animation example. This is a motion capture example. So I'm just going to press this button here. And it's just going to import something there. So if you press play, let's rewind this and press play. Should see someone moving around there. Your default animation settings may be a little bit different to mine, so it may be playing extremely fast. So where you would change that is the animation preferences here. And you could change that here from free, I think it is for default, to real time. And that should slow that down and press save. So if I press play, it should be like this. By the way, that's where you go for all your preferences in Maya. So let's have a look at how to move around the viewport. So if I hold down Alt on the keyboard and use my left mouse button, just hold it down, I can, I can tumble around the viewport and you can see your character, okay? So if you want to pan, you can use your middle mouse button. That's the scroll wheel on your mouse. So you can use that to kind of pan the camera around. Okay, and then you can use your right mouse button to zoom in and out as well, or you can use your scroll wheel as well to zoom in and out. So that's how you navigate the viewports. If you want to change the view of this, you can actually go to wireframe view. So if you click this little button here, you'll change the wireframe view and you can change the shaded view. And that just shows you different ways of looking at your objects. Sometimes when you're modeling, you might look at wireframe just to see how your object is made up. And you can see it's that's the way it looks there. Okay, there's a few other buttons here. You can explore those later. We'll go over a couple of these later. So I'm just going to go to the smooth display here. And uh, you can also press four and five on the keyboard to do that as a shortcut. And you can see it gives you the shortcut there as well. So how do we select objects? Well, if you just use any of these tools here, if you click on one of those and click on an object using your left mouse button, you'll select the object. You can see that it becomes highlighted and that means that it's selected. Okay, so you can tumble around this and you can see that it's highlighted. If you want to deselect, just click in an empty area and you deselect. Another way of selecting objects is using the outliner. The outliner is one of the main windows inside Maya and it's basically a list of objects in your scene. So you can just come over to this button here and this is only in Maya 2017. Otherwise you can go to window outliner. And these, by the way, are all the windows inside Maya. So if you're ever following a tutorial, this is where all the windows are located and they're categorized into different sections like modeling, animation, rendering, etc. Okay, so these are the general editors here. So the outliner here, if I press this button here, you can see it just comes up in the view, which is quite handy. And it's basically a list of objects in the scene. You can see that there's some cameras. The light gray indicates that it's hidden. These, these cameras are the default cameras for the views, and this is our object here. So if we open up this, this is actually called a hierarchy. In other words, there's a parent and there's stuff uh, underneath that. So if you move the parent, you can move the objects. So, so if I were to move something, I can use the move tool, this button here, and that's W on the keyboard. And you can see you get a little manipulator, and you can just click and drag using your left mouse button, and you're going to move that around. And you get some weird stuff going on here because this is a double transform and you're not supposed to move it in the way that I've just moved it. So that's why that happens, but that's not a problem. It doesn't really matter because this is 3D. So you can just press Control Z and you'll undo. Okay, that's one of the basic shortcuts which you definitely want to know there. Go to Edit, Undo if you want to. And you can also select things in here. So if you just click on them, you just select them. If you hold down Shift and click on that little plus, you'll open up the entire hierarchy and you can close it as well. These are bones inside here. And if we use the x-ray view here, you can see that you, the bones are visible on top of the object there. So if you wanted to click on those, you can select them. Okay. So in the same way, you can rotate. So if I just click on this top one here, which is the head bone, just zoom in a bit here. You can use your mouse wheel as well. And if you use the rotate tool, you can actually rotate. And you can see you get these circles and you can rotate in different axes. These are called axes, okay? So different directions. You can see the world axes there, which is the X, Y, and Z. Y is facing up, Z is facing forward, 
and Y is facing left and right. Okay, so, so that's the side view. Talking of views, if you want to go into different views, you can click on these buttons here. This is the easiest way if you're just starting out and go to the full view or the single view. You can also maximize any viewport by space barring, just tapping the space bar. So if I'm in this view, you can see we've got the top, front and side, and you can just tap the space bar to maximize and tap it to minimize. And you can also hold down your space bar and you'll get this rather intimidating uh, menu, which is called the marking menu. And the marking menu is basically uh, all the menus inside Maya, but don't worry about that. In the middle here, you can use your left mouse button and you can quickly go to different views from here as well. So if I wanted to change that view to a right view, I could just click and drag and go to the right view. So you can just quickly go to different views here. So I often use that just to change my view. You can also go to panels and perspective and change to perspective here or orthographic and go to the front side or top. By the way, the orthographic means there's no perspective. Okay, so this camera, you can see that there's perspective and there's foreshortening, whereas something like the, let's have a look, the side camera has not got any perspective. So if I zoom out, you can see that it hasn't got any perspective. It's like a plan view, which is very useful for modeling. If you want to frame up your objects, you can just press F on the keyboard, F to frame. And because I've selected that bone, you can see it's kind of framed up around there. And that's a very handy shortcut. So if I click away and press F, it's going to frame everything in the scene because I haven't selected anything. So that's pretty handy. You can get rid of your grid here by using this little button here, which is quite handy as well. So generally, the first thing you might want to do is create something. So you can use one of these shelves. You can see you've got these shelves here, which are categorized into different areas. You've got rendering and polygons and surfaces, etc. So you can go to the polygons tab here and click on one of these buttons and you'll create an object. So if I wanted to create a sphere, for example, I could click on that and I would create a sphere in the middle of my scene. I could press F to frame it and now I can see my sphere. If I press uh, spacebar and come out of that, I'm in side view at the moment. So if I just change to panel, perspective, persp, and just change to the perspective. So if we look on our outliner, you can see our sphere is here and you can see all the different objects you can select in here. You can see all the objects you can create in here using create. And these are all the different types of objects you can create inside Maya. You can see the lights are there, the cameras are there, and then you've got the different types of objects. Generally, we use polygons, which is a type of object, and you can create curves as well, which is used for modeling and animation sometimes. If you want to select two things at the same time, you can use your standard modifier keys inside your operating system. So for example, I'm on a Mac, so if I, in this outline, if I wanted to press control, I can click on something else. So I'm holding down command, excuse me, on the Mac, control on a PC, and I can click on something else. And you can see I've got two things selected at the same time. You can see one of them is white and one of them is green. And the green one is basically the last object you've selected. And the last object you've selected is useful sometimes when you apply a command because Maya knows the last object you've selected. So sometimes if you're constraining something, for example, it will know which object to constrain based on the order in which you've selected something. Okay, so in this lesson, we had a look at how to navigate the viewports. We had a look at how to change your view into a shaded view using four and five on the keyboard. We've also had a look at the outliner here. Okay, and we've had a look at how to select objects and how to create some objects using the shelf here and the create menu. Let me also just mention we can change different menus by clicking on this drop down here and changing to different menus. So you can say you can go to rigging or animation and you can see everything from Windows onwards will change. So you can see there's quite quite a lot of menus inside Maya, but they're sort of split up into different workflows and you can make your own menus if you wanted to as well using customize.